Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today I've got a matchup for you between Free Seer and myself. Uh, Free Seer is Andromeda, been featured on this channel before. And this game features a uh, great use of Devil Snare, which is quite an overpowered spell right now, gaining popularity in the meta, at least with 60 Grassy. So, uh, pretty neat spell, and we'll see how I put it to good use. And yeah, let's get it started. So, I have a glide book. I'm gonna pop glide first turn. It used to be worth it 100% of the time to do that, right? Because it was four uses. And if you needed to flash your opponent, um, if, obviously if you don't need to use glide to get to your opponent to flash them, then don't use it. But if you need to use glide to get to your opponent, I would probably recommend doing it, even in today's game where it, Glide is now rechargeable. Um, just because, if you think about it, if you use Glide earlier on turn 1, then you'll get it back sooner. So you'll get it back on turn 6. If I use it on turn 4, I'm going to get it back on turn 9. And I'll lose that flexibility during the mid game, right? So for that reason, I think it's best to use it early. So I'm keeping my map control, preventing him from escaping. Um, he's trying to make a little cubby down there and get some sort of map control advantage himself or you know, f still fight for a top map control. He'll want to escape at some point, get a minion out. You can see the value of snare there. I don't have to BFTP out and drain, get in a flashable position or precarious position. I get it, okay, you know, he couldn't flash me but at, at, in this particular position, but, you know, you never know. Maybe he can BFTP and extend flash me off. So you saw that Pegasus just, like, fly. It was like an Olympic shot putter just picked up the Pegasus and threw it, right? Um, so that's one kind of overpowered feature of Snare is that it just, like, knocks minions back, even heavy minions, um, as you'll see soon. So, Snare's taken away at his tower, taken away at his Pegasus, and here I decide to Mudball. Just to control, you know, his movement. He BFTPs to get the Dark Knight on my head, trap me, and Snare's just like, whoop, nope, see ya. And I have the easiest spear kill in my entire life, so... You can kind of see how it's frustrating to face the knockback knocks a Dark Knight, again, a heavy minion, right off me, easily. So, pretty tragic for Andromeda here. He's not able to get out with the BFTP either, and so he has to tower. And now I'm a minion up, I'm feeling pretty good. Snare takes his tower once again. Here, I think I go for the pebble. Yeah. And in hindsight, probably not a great move. I didn't think that he could move the swarm, move the Pegasus into my swarm and then swarm. So, a bit of an oversight. Maybe I keep him trapped you know, tree him in or something. I don't think I use tree. Just muds in this in this game so far. I do have tree though. So I'm going for an epic flash here. Just kidding, I'm not. Go for the Dark Knight. Not the best play probably, because it's uh, trapped. But one thing he could have done say he wasn't trapped, the reason it's not a great play is because maybe he can fly out, you know, cast an ice shield, uh, BFTP out of the ice shield, escape, and that cuts off my Dark Knight from my Pegasus, and I wouldn't be able to fly the Dark Knight over to him. And he's got his own undead Pegasus, it can absorb my swarm, and maybe he can fly away and prot um, in the air somewhere, and prolong the game. But luckily, 
he is trapped. Again, I think a better move would have been to not pebble the tower, maybe run away and kill the Pegasus, or uh, maybe killing the Pegasus isn't even a great move. I think I probably would just tree him in. So put the Pegasus here, and then tree this part with the ice shield so that he can escape with a BFTP. Just again, it's all about keeping map control. It's not about hucking spells at each other on the top of the map. If you want to do that, you can play... Um, I don't know, a lower time setting. Maybe 30s is like that. Or just play a rush book if you want to do that, right? You can still hug spells on the top of the map at people and 60 grassy. It's just not the kind of meta strategy, right? So, uh, in hindsight, killing the Pegasus maybe is not even a bad... Uh, not killing the Pegasus is maybe not a bad option because I know that I could kill it with the Dark Knight later. But if he's able to cut off my Dark Knight from my Pegasus like I mentioned earlier, then maybe that's not even possible, so killing the Pegasus would be good. Anyway, hope that makes sense, but... My goal here is to just keep putting the pressure on, maybe charge down, kill the Pegasus, also just going to take a quick second to uh, say thank you guys for all the support on all the videos. been having a lot of fun making these and uh, being a great coaching resource for a lot of new players and just, you know, fun content to watch for veterans. Um, so 25% of all my viewers are subscribed to the channel, so if you guys uh, would take a moment and leave a subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. and. Hit the bell, you can get notifications when I upload, and you'll never miss you'll never miss a commentary, so. He goes for the last stitch flash. Fails it unfortunately. Um, he probably could have just BFTP'd down this like under the ice shield right and then just continued to stall, but he probably couldn't be bothered at that point, you know. Um, often you make a mistake or two and 60G and it can kind of snowball or you get frustrated, right? So that makes it difficult to kind of st keep your head in the game. But it's important to kind of have the mindset of uh, long-term vision, right, of the game. What's it going to look like in 10 turns, 20 turns? Can I survive? And can you prevent yourself from making mistakes that are so kind of damaging that you may only be able to survive five or ten turns, right? But anyway, he goes for the last stitch flash. Um, other options he could have done, maybe just go to the side, uh, the right side, if he wanted to BFTP out at the top, or like I said, BFTP at the bottom and maybe prod or summon a swarm or something. You know, it's only a matter of time before I probably get to him and kill him, but at least he can try to prolong the game, and if I mess up, which is totally possible, maybe he can force a draw, right? There's always the possibility of your opponent messing up, and you're able to just get uh, some advantage back, gain some tempo. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, leave a subscribe uh, if you enjoyed. Would love to hit 100, uh, you know, 200, 300. Let's get these subs rolling so I can grow the channel. Um, love to see the support and comments and likes, engagement on the videos. I've had fans. Uh, message me on discord uh, thanking me for the content and giving me compliments much appreciated guys and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video thanks so much peace out